Get it up, I'm getting it up. Is your, your dad, is he, is your dad Creole? No, my mama uh, is French and my daddy is black. I am from Bad Rouge, Louisiana. I am yeah, Creole. Yeah. I, I do voodoo. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. I put a spell on all y'all dick. So then you go. Oh. This your brother Kubar, uh, out of the sect of Detroit, for Sakari. And we just out here just teaching our people, so-called black, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native Americans, that we are the true people that the Bible speaks of. That there's hope for us at the end of this tunnel. That it's not just about being out here, going from the everyday to the everyday. And so I just wanted to go over those today. Um, the first thing that she was saying, she was saying that we're going to be held accountable for the different things that we that we say. And she said that we're teaching people that just because you look a certain type of way, that that is automatic salvation. I don't know where she heard that from. I don't know if she was talking to black people Israelites only. Um, but that's certainly not something, and that's the problem when you when you speak in generalities and things like that. That's that's something that that's something that not a lot of people. Uh, when you speak in generalities like that and you clump a bunch of people together, then you run into different problems, you run into different issues. And so uh, saying that we have just this, we, we teach people that if you look a certain type of way, that you have automatic salvation, that would be wrong. And so for that, I will go to uh, Jeremiah 12 and 9 to disprove that. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 9. My inheritance is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come ye assemble all the beasts of the field. Come to devour. So, again, so I will go to this. The main point in this is just showing speckled bird, meaning that there's not one type of look that we all have that we that we come from that you can look and you can be like, oh, that's an Israelite. There could be an Israelite that looks like uh, The Rock. There could be an Israelite that looks like your favorite white actress. There could be, at, at any point in time, there, it, it's, it's the look. If the, But we also go by... It's not the look, we go by the lineage. Right. And so that's something that um, if she would have had greater understanding, she would have you know, maybe gotten out of, out of her emotions and asked the proper questions, then she would have had that, that greater understanding of that. And so again, to show that, I will go to Numbers 1 and 18. And while the brother is looking for that, we gotta be very careful that we make sure that we are, if whatever it is that we are teaching, uh, that we're slowing down and teaching it correctly, but also if you want to come in and you want to be opposed to this, you got to make sure that you're asking the right questions, and you got to make sure that you're really doing it to try and gain understanding, as opposed to just going against somebody just for the sake of going against them. That's right. It's the book of Numbers, chapter one, and verse eighteen. Read and they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families. Okay, so pay close attention. They declared their pedigrees after their families, right? So we all got families, we know how families are constituted. Some of us have single parent families, some of us have uh, families, you know, with, you know, multiple parents. So we, uh, they're, they're declaring their fam the pedigree after their families. This is how the families are determined. After they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. By the house of their fathers. That's right by the house of their fathers, not by if you come in and you sojourn with us and, and you cleave onto us, not by if you believe in the same God that we believe in, not by um, any other thing, any other misinterpretation that you might have, but by the house of their fathers. So what does that tell us? That tells us that this is something that you can't just join. This is a heritage. This is something that you're born into or you're not. This is something that you're either a, a part of or you're not. But we want to be, especially in this this uh, so-called melting pot that we call America, we want to uh, just try and make it all-inclusive for everybody. When it wasn't all-inclusive for us to begin with, we had to fight to get even the scraps that we have today. And now those same people that we were fighting to get those scraps from, we're heavily defending because they're being told that, no, you're, you're more than likely you're not a part of this. More than likely, 
there are some things that are coming to you that you won't like that are far more worse than what it is that you did to us because you had your chance to do right by us and you decided not to do it. You held on to you want to hold on to that power for too long. So now these are the things that's coming to you. But people have an issue with that because again we're t we're taught to love our oppressors. We're taught we have that that Stockholm syndrome. But this just gets rid of that that um, those ideas right there. Those sort of cut her first two arguments. Now the next argument that she had was that we have free salvation. Um, that it's a, it's, we're teaching that there is free salvation if, if you just belong to this people group and that there's nothing uh, that comes with that. And it, it was the arrogance for me in which she was speaking with. It was, it was the way in which she just thought that she had a point. It was the way in which she was clicking on the press on nails as she was going through doing this video and looking straight into the camera like there was just, you know, like she was just this higher than thou person. It was just this, that type of thing. And it, at first it was annoying and then it was laughable and then it was sad because she's one of us. And so if you have this mindset and you're not willing to learn, then you get into this, to this point where, uh, where you just, you, you, you trail off and it tells us to be wary of that. It tells us to make, you know, to, to make sure that we're doing, how y'all doing? Sis, 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 how y'all doing? Just so y'all know, if your dad's a so-called black man, y'all be from the tribe of Judah. So y'all be an Israelite that the Bible speaks of. I didn't hear what you said, but I hope it was thank you. All right. Um, let's go ahead and go. <laughs> and you know, we got, again, we, you know, we got much like the lady that uh, I'm sure that, uh, that was online, we got people that, our own people that we passed by it, it's kind of funny because I never thought that I would be one of one of these people that stand out on the corner. You know, you see those people in the in the movies and things like that with the signs that say the the end of the world is near. The end of the world is near. Come to Jesus now, right? And that they make these people look so crazy in these films, and you never think that you're going to be there being one of these people. But here we are on the corner saying the end is near. You know, return to God, return to what He wants, return to His commandments, keep the faith in, in His Son. These are things that we're saying, and these are people that we turned out to be. But it's again because we know that we don't have free salvation. It's because there's works and things that need to be done in order to obtain that along with the faith. That's if we right. read through our Bible, then we would know these type of things. But instead, we just, again, we, we're lulled all throughout the week. And then Sunday comes, and we go to church, and we're lulled by the pastor. You know, we get these, uh, you know, these songs that everybody knows by the choir. And then we get the collection plate passed around, and then we get the announcements read by Mrs. Bargy, and then we go to the sermon, and it's the same old sermon that we've always been hearing, just repackaged. How you doing, bro? What up, what up? If you got a little bit of time when you come out the store, come, come uh, holler at us for a little bit. All right, for sure. I was about to say politics. Um, but let's go ahead and get to, uh, you got it? book of James chapter 2 verse 17 even Bring so faith if it hath not works is dead faith if it doesn't have works is dead That's right. so, I was letting you know. right off the bat that is twofold that there's two things that you got to do faith and works and if you read a little bit further you will see that faith is works right so there's always got to be some type of physical application to to the spiritual of what it is that you're that you're seeking that you're doing it can't just be sitting here just believing and just hoping and just praying. No, you got to do something. That's like if, if your parent tells you to, if you want something from, from a parent, if you've asked to do something, but then you haven't been doing the stuff that it is you're supposed to be doing. If you haven't been cleaning your room, if you haven't been getting the grades that they wanted to get you to get in school, Jeez, if you haven't been acting right, then what makes you think that they're going to be like, oh yeah, for sure, I'll, I'll get you that new game. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll get you those tickets to the concert. You know, no, 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 no parent worth their salt would actually do that. Instead, they would tell you, well, you didn't do this. You didn't do that. I had to ask you multiple times. There were, there were a bunch of times. What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Just so you know, if your dad's a so-called black man, you'd be from the tribe of Judah, bro. You'd be an Israelite that the Bible speaks of. That's right. All right? So take that with you. Deuteronomy 28, read through that. See if anything applies to you. That's right. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 12. Bring it out! 
here is the patience of the so like here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Yahweh Shai. So this is after everything, right? This is after all all these different prophecies have come to pass. This is this is when this says, uh, you know, here are the patience of the saints, those that keep the faith and the and the commandments, which are works, which are physical things that you can see, which means that you no know, commandments have not been done away with, the laws have not have been, been done away with. No, we need to see, we need to have the faith and we need to do the works. That's how you get in. So it, no, it's not a free pass. It's not a free salvation just because of how you look. It's because we are. We are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. If you're so-called black, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native, Native American, through the lineage of your father. But we're also out here. We're doing these works. We're teaching our people. We're reading the commandments. We're learning what it is that, that the Most High wants us to do. And then we're going out and we're doing those things. It's, 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 it's that simple. People talk about how simple Christianity is, um, which is very simple. I remember when I was in Christianity, I used to try to make it harder for myself because it's like, this is way too easy. All I got to do, I can do whatever I want throughout the week. I come to church, I ask forgiveness on Sundays, or you know, maybe if I got some time at nights, I'll ask for forgiveness and then I'm forgiven and then I can just keep doing whatever it is that I want to do. But that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says we got certain things that our Yahweh has certain things that he needs us to do. We need to do those things. If we fail, if we if we miss a step, okay, a just man gets up seven times, okay, cool. We don't look forward to that eighth time that we fall. We just continue and we keep trying to get better day in and day out. And that, and that's uh, and that's really all that, that we can do. We're rehearsing these righteous acts. We're trying to and we're trying to get y'all to rehearse these righteous acts because we don't want to be the only ones beamed up. And we know that whoever is to be saved is already written. But that still doesn't mean that we come out here and we act like we know who those people are. It could be any one of y'all that's over there at the gas station. Any one of y'all. At any point in time, y'all coming to the truth, y'all coming to this knowledge, y'all start living right. Y'all could be that 144,000 person. That's you never right. know. And that's what we're all heard. That's, that's, that's the faith that we got. That's the hope that we got. Let's go to another point that this lady had. I had to write it down to make sure. Oh, okay. So... Um, So the other part that she said, she said that um, we rely so heavily on the Old Testament. And she was saying that if you want to make sure, uh, if you want to truly be able to make your point and to reach people, that you got to go to the New Testament. And again, unless she was messing with OT only, I don't know where she came up with the idea that we only go into the into what they call the Old Testament and never go into what they call the New Testament. We go all throughout the Bible. Matter of fact, we go into books that you don't have in your Bible. So that gives us an even more, a better understanding of what it is that's going on. How you doing? What's good? You just out here? You not too? You waiting on somebody? For sure. Well, are you waiting? Is your dad a so-called black man? Yeah? So then if you know, that being the case, you would be from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Right? That's the same tribe that Christ is from. You believe in the Bible at all? Yeah. You said some parts? What, what parts? What don't you believe in? What was that? If you could come a little bit closer, I'm not going to hold you. Once, you. once your person gets here, you can go ahead and leave if you want to leave. What, what was the part that you said you don't believe in? A lot of it. I mean, that's cool. Do you, are you believe in God? You believe in His Son? You believe in the Holy Spirit? All right. Well, you. I mean, you got most of it right then. What uh, do you believe? When I tell you that you're a person that that an Israelite that's in this Bible, do you believe that? You can have you got you can have some faith in that. All right. Well, you know what? Let me let me go ahead and give you one scripture about how you should carry yourself when you're here. Can I get this? Is one of my one of my favorite uh, scriptures that I have, but it's also to tell us how it is that we should be viewing ourselves because we just have this low view of self that we've been taught. But that's not how the Bible says that we should carry ourselves, right? 
This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. For thou art a holy people. So we are a holy people, my father, uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We are a holy people to the, to the Lord, to the Most High God. We are a holy people because we are the people that the Bible speaks of, right? The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So out of all the people that he could have chosen, he chose so-called blacks, so-called Native Americans, so-called Hispanics. He chose us over all the people of the earth, right? We're special, we're chosen, right? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Not equal to, not a little bit less than, not fighting to get your rights from, no. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right? So that means that wherever we go, that's how we're supposed to carry ourselves. Wherever we go, that's how we're supposed to think of ourselves and how we're supposed to think of others that look like us, that are, that are, that are the people that, that we, you know, that are the Israelites of the Bible. That's how we're supposed to be viewing each other. You know, no more mean mugging, no more side eyes, no more wishing that we had what they had, no more they wishing what we had. No, we're supposed to be looking at each other with that, with that respect because the Bible tells us that we are above all people that are upon the face of the earth, right? So when you go out, think of yourself that way, think of other people that way. And if you got a Bible at home, go ahead, go through that Bible, Deuteronomy 28, see if any of those things apply to you. And if it does, then you can come back and talk with us a little bit. We're, we're always here, we're usually here on Saturdays and stuff like that about this time. So, you know, just come talk with us. You got any questions, we got an email, we got all that stuff. Just, we just look up Sakari, the Hebrew Israelites, and then go from there, all right? Oh yeah, we got a flyer. Hey, let me give you a flyer real quick, bro. It's all good. We're right behind you. I know people got things to do. What's going on, what's going on? How you doing, man? For sure. You know what he, he Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know anything about us? No, uh, I know about this right here. Oh yeah, for sure? I just watched the stuff on man where it made religion. Okay, cool, cool. What'd you learn in that? I'm almost 50. Uh huh. So trying to go down that road of enlightenment and health. Yeah. When you go down that road of enlightenment and health, they yeah. start speaking to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you start reaching for the knowledge, you yeah. go down that road, yeah. of health and enlightenment. The universe are for sure dropping shit in. Do you I do you believe in the creator of the universe? Oh yes, I study that. Okay. Hey. The flower of life. Hey, look up. We, his I'm name. On the, I'm on the flower of life right now. His name is Yahweh though. Okay, I know about that. Yahweh. That's the creator of this all. When you get a chance, go over that. Look up the YouTube's. If you got any questions or anything like that, you know hit us. But his name is Yahweh. Where y'all gonna be at? Hmm. Y'all working different corners. I, we're around, we're around, but we're we're here pretty often, for sure. Hey, keep on your enlightenment journey. I remember, I I I remember when I was on that journey, eating healthier. You start, yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. Hey, look, you don't. When you said it, I was surprised. Hey, that's hey. We don't celebrate birthdays, so we 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 kind of look at it the same ways. All right, exactly. You don't need to. It's just a reminder. It's just a reminder that people want to keep on you. It's like chains. People always want to be telling you about your, you know, about your age. How old are you? That's the question. If you realize how many times they say it, they say it three times in a row. How old are you? How old are you? It's in the song. What's going on, y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to we're gonna continue to be out here until we're not. You know what I'm saying? Until the chariots take us out, until we got to hide inside, until whatever, but we're going to be out here. <laughs> and again, it's good that people see this is why we come to, to our communities. You know, you won't really see us in the suburbs because why? Because there's not a lot of people that, there's not really Israelites out there, number one. And number two, uh, it's not a high population of us, so, you know, it's not people that need to be saved. Our people need this word. These, these, the people in this city, these are the people that need this hope. These are the people that need this faith. These are the people that need to be told that there's something that's good about them. That's that there's right. something that's special about them. That there's something that's chosen about them. And then to be able to back it up 
with actual scriptures, with actual history, with actual proof, instead of just being, you know, just, you know, I, I believe, you know, for the women, they'll say, I believe I'm a queen. For the, for the men, they'll say, you know, I believe I'm a king. But are we really caring ourselves like it? Are we really acting like it? Are we treating others of our people like royalty? Or are we just, you know, treating them like the, like the dirt that we, that we trod over every single day on the bottom of our shoe? You know, there's just uh, there's that hope that people need to have, and there's that 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 hope that they need in their step. There's that something that they need in their heart that keeps it beating, you know, just a, a little bit louder. You know what I'm saying? Just that something that's that's inside of them. Hey, people passing by, just so you know, if your dad's a so-called black man, then y'all be from the tribe of Judah. It is like that the Bible speaks of. So go ahead, look in the Bible, Deuteronomy 28, see if it's anything that you can relate to. It should be. Salakia, let me get back to my points. Um, can you look? Uh oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, she was saying that we're OT only, right? So that we don't go to the New Testament, that we don't that we don't read the New Testament, that we rely too heavily on the Old Testament. But again, if you know, um, if you know the Bible, then you know that the way that it is, everything has to correlate with something else you can't if something seems off if something is not correlating with the rest of the book then the, you know it's off it's just like a, a any other book that you read twilight harry potter any of those books you read those books the same characters that were there the uh the main ones the whoever the story was about in the beginning is usually who the story is about at the end it doesn't switch there, there aren't different facts that you find out and it's like oh well this was harry potter the whole time no you find out that he's the same person throughout the whole series right so in the same way, the Bible does the same thing. Who the Israelites are at the beginning, they are now. They're going to be until the end of time. That's right. Um, what the Old Testament is talking about, it was true then, it's true now, and it's true until the end of time. So that's why you have to know how to navigate this book. I see a lot of people that are looking at the signs in the car, and I see y'all looking at this sign. This is not saying that Jesus is the devil. This is saying that this image is the devil this is saying that who was who this image was made after is the devil jesus was a so-called black man right he looked like y'all so when y'all go and y'all look in the mirror know y'all looking at christ know y'all looking at an image of christ know y'all looking at just your savior right not that you are your own savior but that the savior looks like you that the savior is coming back for you you got to keep that hope up we got to make sure that our people are, again, are, are, are understanding this and that they're loving this and that they carry themselves like royalty, not just believing it, not just carrying all these false things. But um, let's go ahead and get to why the New Testament agrees with the Old Testament. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it up. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. So again... What was the Old Testament talking about, the Israelites? What was the Old Testament talking about, the salvation of the Israelites? What was the Old Testament talking about, that the Israelites will never be done away with because that is a promise that God has made us himself, right? So then we get into some predicaments. We get, you know, there's a time where prophets don't speak to us. Uh, there are no prophets that are sent to us. And, you know, we get, you know, we're getting dispersed and things like that. Um, and so what happens now? Now we get somebody that comes for us that is that is there for it that is sent for us that is sent only for the israelites that's what he said he said i was only sent for the lost sheep of the house of israel he didn't say that i was sent for the anyone that who believes on me wherever wherever you know they are you know that's who it is that i'm going to or they can come to me no he said i'm only sent for the lost sheep of the house of israel well that's in the new testament so this would be going against these are these are this is the person that you consider your Lord and Savior. You know, a lot of Christians consider him God, right? We know that there's only one God, the one true God, the Father, Yahweh. Yes, Yahweh Shai is his son, the, the Hamashiach, the anointed one. That's the one sent uh, for our salvation. That's our king. You know, that's our Lord and our Savior. Um, but a lot of Christians view Jesus as God. And so from the words out of his mouth, he's saying, I'm only sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, not anyone else. So I don't understand where the where the misconceptions come from that say that we believe in anything uh, that we believe in anything different or that we're just you know just 
using uh, different scriptures to try and prove a certain point. And, uh, you know, whatever it is, is whatever it is. And, you know, just, you know, I believe what I want to believe, blah, 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 blah. No, not true. Um, Did I have you roll on the room? All right, All right let's go to another uh, book in the, in the New Testament. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 1. Bring it out. I say the truth in Christ. Now, this is the book of Romans, chapter 9, and verse 4. Bring it out. Who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption? So there's a lot of people that I, I see what you're trying to do, my boy. Um, there's a lot of people that um, you know it's the adoption. You know that's how I'm part of the. Um, that's how I'm a part of Christ. You know I'm I'm the adoption. I'm grafted in. Uh, you know we were you, I was a wild olive, not even knowing what you're talking about, not knowing the references that you're talking about. But you know one of the big things they want to say is the adoption. Well, right here we hear about that the adoption is pertaining to the Israelites, which again would make sense why Christ said that he was only sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. Which again would make sense why the, all the people that you see getting saved and all the people that you see Yahweh dealing with in the Old Testament would be Israelites. That's the only thing that makes sense. These are called correlations that we have all throughout, but that's not all that that's in that, that's in that verse. So go ahead. Right. So who pretend the adoption and the glory and the covenant and the covenant so we know that there were covenants that were made to the Israelites, right? Not to anybody else, not dealing with anybody else, only with the Israelites. There were covenants that were made with the Israelites, right? Not only covenant. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law. The laws that were given to Moses, the laws that were given to uh, the Israelites, the laws that were, that were told to us, the laws that we're supposed to be doing right now, that are continuing going on, that are never done away with, the same laws and revelations that says, uh, you know, here are the faces of the saints, those that keep the faith and the commandments, those ones. Though these are all things that we're supposed to be still doing. These are all things that we're still supposed to be continuing. What's going on? How y'all doing? What's up? I said I'm a preacher's daughter. You're a preacher's daughter? Yeah. Yes, yeah. What church? Christian faith. Christian faith. Um, PA, the uh, Pier Avenue where the thugs at. Oh, for sure. <laughs> uh, 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 Cloverland. Oh, yeah. My daddy was a preacher. He was a missionary preacher. He went to Africa. That's why I met my African boyfriend. Okay. My, 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 my daddy brought him back to America. Yeah. You're, is my, your is your dad a so-called black man? Uh, he showed not white. Okay, good. Did, <laughs> did he ever tell my, you? My mama French. Okay. I'm Creole. I'm from the South. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see y'all gathering up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting up too, but it's just 25 in my 3 8 glasses. Hey, hey, I feel and you. My AKA is Stay protected. That's what the Bible tells us. But hey, if your your dad's a so called black man, so did he ever tell you? Black man. Because it's so called black. I mean, we're not black, right? Black is the color of that car, right? Are you no, the color of the car? That's what my man is. He African. He's he's African, right? Yeah. But black is not a destination. Black is not a place. Well, what is black? Black is the color. Of, it's a color. It's the color of that car. But if you look at my hands, right, I'm, 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 I'm a. You caramel. <laughs> but, hey, she got Tupac on her stomach. That's the thug. Yeah, and I one more time her. I told her mom get it up. They get it up. I'm get it up. Is your your dad? Is he? Is your dad Creole? No, my mama uh, is French and my daddy is black. I am from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I am yeah, Creole. Yeah. I I do voodoo. Oh, yeah. oh shit! Okay. I put a spill on all y'all did. So then you go oh, make it. Yeah, bye. <laughs> all right. hey, it's cool. Our, our power believes in, in it. Our, our power is the is the power that made your power. Our, our power is the power that made your power. So it's all good. But you will be for the tribe of Levi, just so you know. Nobody is, nobody is afraid of voodoo over here. Nobody is afraid of...